Hello everyone. Welcome to Come Sit at My Table. We're Tom and Melissa, and we're really happy that you've joined us for this video. Today we're going to make a really delicious treat. Now it's been a while since we've had something on here that's just a snack or a treat that you can keep around, or something that you could even have for company. This is also something you can have for Halloween. Today we're making something called Muddy Buddies. Now, Muddy Buddies go by lots of different names. Sometimes it's called Moose Munch or Reindeer Munch. Sometimes it's called Garbage. It's called all kinds of names. But for the most part, it's the same basic recipe, just with extra things thrown in. So let's talk about what you're going to need to make Muddy Buddies. First, you're going to need 10 cups of a Chex cereal. Now we're using rice checks, but there are lots of different check cereals out there that you can choose from. They even have peanut butter check checks and chocolate checks now that you could certainly use. In fact, I did see a recipe that suggested using half peanut butter checks, half chocolate checks in this recipe. I think that would be delicious, but today we're just using rice checks. So we have 10 cups of that in our bowl. We're also going to use one cup of whole cashews. Now you can see I've kind of piled them up because, well, somebody in this house, me, loves cashews. So I'm putting a good heaping cup. Now that we've put those in there, let's talk about the fact that you can add lots of different things to this. We've added M&Ms, we've added chunks of Reese peanut butter cups. Um, you can add peanuts, whatever you like, raisins, anything you like that is kind of a snack, finger food type thing can go in here. So that's totally up to you what you add today. We're just adding a cup of cashews. Now we can just leave that sit there while we work on our chocolate mixture. So we're going to take an 11 and a half ounce bag of milk chocolate chips and put those into a bowl. And to that, we, oops, dropped a chip. Don't want to lose him. Come back here, chip. We're going to add to that one stick of butter. And I'm just going to kind of chop that into chunks so it melts a little easier. So we'll just add that in just into three or four big chunks. And then one cup of creamy peanut butter. And we'll just add that right in with our chips and our butter. Now we're going to microwave this for about a minute and then we'll check it. If it's not completely melted, we will add another 30 seconds and stir it and just keep going until it's completely melted. But Usually a minute to a minute and a half will do it. So let's get that in and get that started melting and then we'll talk about what else we need. We don't even need to stir that up. We can just put that all in a bowl, set our microwave for a minute. Okay, you're also going to need powdered sugar. Now I'm gonna start with three and a half cups of powdered sugar. That might be enough, it may not be quite enough. If we need to, we can add a little more, but I'm starting with three and a half cups. It really doesn't hurt if you have a little extra in there. If it doesn't stick to the um, checks and nuts, it'll just fall to the bottom, so it's okay. And I'm gonna put all of that in a, I think it's called a jumbo, yeah, a hefty jumbo Ziploc bag. Now, when I first started making this was in the mid 80s, right after I had first started teaching school, and we called it garbage because we made huge batches of it to give to the kids at school. Usually on Friday afternoon, we would have some kind of a rewards program and we would have a little treat for them. And we literally mixed it in a trash bag. So we called it garbage, but it's had many names since then. So today we're going to mix it in a jumbo hefty 
Ziploc bag. All right, you can see that our peanut butter, our butter, and our chocolate are really close to being melted. It's gonna take just a few more seconds, I think, for those chocolate chips to get melted. So I'm gonna stir this up good. It's not gonna take much longer. They're really close. In fact, I think if I let that sit for just a minute, those chunks of chips may just go ahead and, and melt. So I might not have to put it back in at all. I'm afraid if I put it in for too long, it will seize up and you don't want that to happen. So I think I'm done with that. Now, we're just going to take this mixture, scrape every bit of that off, and we're going to pour that right over our checks and our cashews. And then we're going to stir it in. Now, a lot of that will absorb into the cereal. So, it won't be as soupy as you might think it's going to be. I try not to stir it much. I try just to fold under and try to get it as coated as I possibly can without stirring because I don't want to break up that cereal. I want it to get coated, but I don't want it to become dust or powder. So I just try to fold it in, get every piece of that checks and all those cashews with some chocolate on it. Now, we know that it's really close to Halloween. We're just a few days from Halloween. And some of us may already be having some trick-or-treat nights, depending on your town. Some people do it on Halloween. Other places, they do it a few nights before. This would be a wonderful snack to make to put in little Ziploc snack-sized bags to hand out to your trick-or-treaters. What kid wouldn't love to get this? So, if you are expecting trick-or-treaters and you want to make something homemade to give them, this would be great. Maybe you have grandkids that will be coming to your house for trick-or-treat. This would be a wonderful treat to have for them. Okay, let me get this chocolate off my hands. Now, we are going to transfer, I'm going to get rid of this, put it in the sink, get rid of my butter paper. Now, we're going to transfer this to our jumbo baggie. And if you wanted to, you could use a trash bag. I did that for many years. And really, our kids always thought that's pretty cool. Oh, the kids thought it was the greatest thing ever. They got a treat out of a trash bag. <laughs> and calling it garbage just made it even that much better for them. Okay, I'm trying not to get this on the counter. Now, I've gotten part of that in there, so I'm gonna put part of my powdered sugar in. Just to get that started. I kind of wish I had four hands right now. Something I can do to help. Yeah, you can hold this bag open if you can. There you go. Look what a third hand does. I'm sure I'm right in the way of that camera. I'm trying my best here. And I think I got chocolate all over your hand. Okay, thank you, babe. You're now I'm going to scrape all that off my spatula. Put the rest of my powdered sugar in. Zip that bag closed. And I don't think it closed, did it? Oh, it did not. What in the world? <laughs> well, I hope it does close. There we go. Now, we're just gonna move I'm telling you that doesn't, that's not closed. Okay, I can work without that. I'll just hold it. And we're just going to toss this around 
and get that powdered sugar all over everything in there. We just want to get it completely mixed up. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't think that's enough powdered sugar. I think we may need a little more. Because you wanna make sure every piece of that is coated. Otherwise, we're all gonna to stick together. Let's check it and see. Let's look. Yeah, I think we need just a hair more. Let me grab something right here. Grab my powdered sugar tub. I'll just take another big scoop. You really don't know until you get started. I'm going to do another scoop. It doesn't hurt to have too much because it'll just fall to the bottom if it doesn't stick to it. Okay. Get these off the side. I can't imagine why that didn't zip. Okay, I'm just going to hold that together. Toss that around again. And the more you toss it, the more coated they're going to become. Now, when you have it to where everything's coated, you're going to want a piece of wax paper or a piece of parchment paper. Aluminum foil would work too. And you're just going to want to dump it out onto your paper and then kind of spread it out so that it can sort of dry. Now, there have been times that I've been in a hurry and not really wanted to wait for this to harden on its own and I've just put it in the refrigerator. So you can do that too. And you see there's a clump that's stuck together. That's perfectly fine. It's not gonna hurt a thing. And that just means you get a big clump of it. Now we're just gonna... Gravels. <laughs> well, maybe we can give it another new name and call it gravel. Actually, it does kind of, doesn't it? Looks like rocks. Let me tell you, it doesn't taste like rocks. All right, now it's gonna take just a little while for that to firm up. That chocolate will set, but this boy can't wait. That is so good. Wow. Now when that's firm, when that dries, we'll just put it into like Tupperware boxes or into baggies and keep it for snack mix. You you can use it just, you know, you're sitting watching TV at night, this is a great snack. You're going on a trip. This is a great little snack to take with you on a trip. Take a baggie of it or a box of it. It works anytime, anywhere. All right, we do appreciate that you've joined us for this video for Muddy Buddies, Moose Munch, Monkey Munch, garbage, whatever you want to call it, gravel, <laughs> if you're my wife. We do appreciate that you've joined us for this video. If you wouldn't care, we'd appreciate you giving us a thumbs up. If you haven't, click that subscribe button. We sure would appreciate it. Right below this video, there's a box with the title of the recipe. If you'll click that title, that box will expand. You'll find the written recipe right there. Melissa puts the written recipe for every video in that description box. Thank you again for watching, and remember, you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a great day.